Welcome back to Hinterland. Uh, well, if you can hear, it's really bucketing down out there. I was just out there mowing all the grass that we got. And, um, yeah, it started hosing down. So I've taken shelter under here. The thunder's pretty loud. The rain's heavy. I'm not sure. The wind's whipping around. But, yeah, there's no point mowing lawns in this weather. So I've taken some shelter under here for now. And we've got all this grass to cut. But, whew, that weather... I mean, yeah, when that thunder hits, I tell you. Jeez. Yeah, so it's pretty bad weather at the moment. The storm's just come out of nowhere. Well, I say out of nowhere, we've had like two or three months of storms. <laughs> but, um, I tell you, that wind is terrible. Barely walking the wind. Didn't have to sort something out. Oh, geez. Okay, well that's not a good sign, is it? We better get back to camp and um, make sure everything's tied down, and sorted out. Guess that's a, um, a tornado or a hurricane. I don't know. Whatever it is. There's another one. Okay, well we'll get back to camp. We're gonna sort this out. Well, we survived the storm. A couple of hours later, it's passed, and you wouldn't even think anything had happened. Jeez, I'm going to check out my equipment, because I heard a loud bang there while I was taking shot. I don't know how the tent survived, but it looks like we got a trailer in the middle of the field here. That's not too bad. Looks okay. Salvageable. Meanwhile, oh my gosh. Meanwhile, yeah, here we go. This is, um... This is what I feared. I knew I heard a loud bang in there during that storm. I wasn't willing to go outside and have a look. But yeah, you can see our tools being blown over here. And it, uh, we did put a new silage bunker down, by the way. And it looks like our buckets are blowing over the place. God. So I've got to try and save this tractor somehow now. Um, I don't even know if that's possible, to be honest. Just looking in there. there. Try and see if I could start it. But, um, yeah, if this is, if I can't get this apart, I don't know what I'm going to do. Uh, I'm going to have to talk to the, I mean, about insurance for this, I think. Yeah, that's wedged in there good. It's gone and mangled it, hasn't it? Ah, oh, shoot. Oh, this is just what I needed. Right before Christmas. No, that's not going to help. Oh, jeez, and I've got a buddy banged my neck up with that. Anyway, <clears throat> I'm going to have to sort this out. I might. Nothing's going to work. It's well and truly mangled together from the storm. So I'm going to have to try and see if I can um, get the insurance to sort this out. I'm, hopefully I'm covered for it. And um, yeah, it's not looking good. Our field survived, which is good. Nothing too damaging to the field. I'll have a look at that after. But from here, it looks okay. But yeah, the trailer and the tractor are going to need um, sorting out. So, yeah, what a, what a morning, I tell you. Jeez, didn't see that coming. It came out of nowhere, that storm. But we do have grass to mow. As you can see, I did make a start mowing around the edges here. I end up at the top there. So I've got all that grass to collect. Um, and all that grass to mow. 
um, and we put down a new bunker um, I just figured this is an easier way for me to put it in and pick it up rather than getting stuck all the time I can go straight through um, the only, yeah so we're going to use this little bunker silo for now um, nothing wrong with the other one this one just seems more convenient for my budget um, the tractor's not the greatest at dealing with that weight on it either from scooping it's a bit finicky but uh, just checking the weather so I don't get caught out by surprise again. It looks like we've got a good afternoon ahead. Um, yeah, no, no clouds till later on tonight, so that's okay. So yeah, looks like December's going to be a pretty cold month. So we've got to get things sorted and I've got to plough that ground before it freezes over. But I ain't going to be doing much, so I'll see you in a bit once I sort this out. We managed to get a good deal with the insurance. Um, we didn't get another trailer, and we've lost the um, the front loader. But uh, we got a new tractor at least, and it's a bit better than the last one. And we haven't come off any much worse off, um, really. So we're pretty good. We're just going to struggle to do timber or any trailer work, but we'll look into that when the time comes. But I'm um, taking the back road to the farm. I've never been out these ways. Quite nice. Could eventually expand over this way, I think, but getting well ahead of myself after that storm, that's for sure. So the new tractor's not too bad, it's a Zetor. Um, came out about the same price. We do have some mowing to do today, and I'm going to pick up um, the rest of the grass as well. But yeah, I thought I'd come down here and just sort this yard out now, that we can move it around. We've got a tractor to do that now. So it's quite a nice little tractor, I quite like it. Um, it is front loader equipped, uh, I just didn't get that included in the insurance and can't afford a front loader just yet, so it's about 10 grand I think, 12 grand tops. So we're a little bit shy of that, um, we haven't got any real income, what is it, it's November, whoops, I'm getting stuck on the bunker there. But um, as I was saying earlier about this bunker, um, there was nothing wrong with the other one, it just wasn't convenient for me. Uh, with the <laughs> having to try and pick stuff up, it was tedious with the scoop. And then I noticed I could do it with the forage wagon, um, like I said in the other video, I think. So I started doing it with that, and this just makes sense. I can go over, come around and go back over, nice and easy. Um, yep, we still got our tools, I'm going to have to move this with the tractor, because... Come on. Because I don't have a front loader. And it's going to slow us down with our money, our income. Um, I've got an idea for that. It's not going to be much of an idea. It's going to be something. But uh, first things first, we tidy this yard up. That storm really threw a um, spanner in the works. Where am I going? Hang on. Let's get out the view. At least you can see the tractor now. There we go. We'll hook that up. But yeah, it's quite a nice tractor. It's a little bit more horsepower, I can't remember the specifics right now, but it is a little bit more. Let's pull this back to this little bay here, this little island bay that I like to... It's like a little circuit that I do around the bunker. It would work out perfectly. So yeah, um, the yard's tidied up a bit. Um, the front loader tools are still scattered around the place over there, so we have to sort that out eventually. May have to just... Ooh, I don't like to think about it, but maybe lease a um, scoop, but I'm not sure if I want to get into leasing equipment. But anyway, we're going to get into mowing. We've got a heck of a lot of grass to mow. Um, where am I going to start? So I decided to get uh, started by... I tried mowing again with the, harvest, uh, the forage wagon on the back, but that didn't... Uh, we're only doing 5k's an hour, 7 tops, so we're just going around picking up grass for now um, and then I'll get into mowing, even if I just do an outline get about 60,000 litres again, I'll be happy once I get about that much in the bunker I'll put the cover on and um, we'll let it ferment and uh, we should get some good money for that next month ah, uh, January, sorry, January I should say come January it'll be top price for it and um, we'll have 60,000 litres of it so 
I could even afford to put another bunker down if I wanted to go and do more, which I could. So I don't want to make it too full because str uh, I'll struggle to get the forage wagon over to pick it up. That's, oops, I dumped that too soon. There we go. Okay, so I'm going to have to move all that stuff, but we'll figure that out. I'll sort that out. But um, this was my plan. It's just a lot easier just to be able to come straight through and do this. And um, I'll come round and I'll try and pick up that grass that I dumped there. Because I can't use that bucket anymore. But I think I've got a nice little circuit around here. Maybe not the best place to keep the tools though. Um, the front load of tools will be alright. Um, I need a proper shed somewhere. But Gosh, I'm having a terrible time with this playthrough, I tell you. Um, really spending money like I shouldn't be. But it is what it is. <laughs> I don't call it survival for nothing. Anyway, I'm going to sort that out at some. Got to sort this out, I mean. So I started mowing this now after picking up some of the grass on the field. Um, sort of get stuck in, just at least get this little patch done here. Um, this is where I'm going to put the proper grass field. I'm fish tailing it around. <laughs> but um, yeah, this is um, probably one of the tougher survivals I've done. I've really come at this with a bit of a nonchalant attitude, I think. Um, <laughs> and I am a struggle city. Struggle creek without a paddle, I should say. Uh, but we're doing okay. You know. we are got grass. We've got a field that's got seeds in it. It's all ready to go. We should get a decent harvest from that when the time comes. There will be contracts next year, I guess, but I'm just really finding it hard. I've got no front loader. I've got no trailer. Um, yeah, times are tough <laughs> here in Hinterland, I tell you. But, yeah, all I'm doing is mowing. So I've got a lot of grass, so I shouldn't complain. I've got a ton of grass that I can go and help myself to, meadow grass. So I really just want to get enough money to get the quick and easy way of doing the silage route. Uh, but we can only do what we can do with the money we got. So I may end up putting down another uh, bunker at some stage but we're gonna see how this goes first we'll see how much we get in this bunker for silage but I'm gonna time lapse this I'll see you soon Uh, that's our silage pit fill with about 60,000 litres. Well, actually, how much is that? Oh, that's only 40,000. I'll top that up some more with the rest of the grass around. Just wanted to compact it because it's getting quite hard to get in and out. But, um, yeah, I'll top some more of that up and get into that. What is it, 2.30 in the afternoon? We're doing all right. We're not making any money, but nothing's on sale. Huh. Um, because what do we need? What do we need? Uh, oh, I'm thinking of putting an air garden down, so I'm going to look at some water tankers. Uh, some mods. Some, no, there's one for a thousand bucks there. I mean, 
we got a lake, so it's right there, isn't it? So we can just, it's not going to be far to travel. Um, I don't want to spend a quarter of our money, if I, can't, if I can help it. I think we'll go that one. It's nice and basic. It holds a thousand liters, but um, like I say, we're not traveling very far to from where I've got an idea of where our, our lake's right there on our farm. So, um, do we need to? I mean, it's not going to get lost, but um, yeah, she looks okay just like that. Doesn't have to be anything fancy, does it? So that's a nice cheap trailer. Um, and now we're going to put a garden down. So, see, takes a while to load into construction sometimes. But we I mean, our farm's looking good. I could even put down another silo where those tools are there at some stage. But um, for now, we're going to go the old trusted open-air garden. It's never failed me. Um, we've got other options, but yeah, this one just, well, I don't know. It just seems... I've never had any issues with it, and I always revert back to it. Um, we want it somewhere near the lake, so I'm not traveling too far. Um, yeah. Somewhere where it's not going to be floating, like sometimes it happens. Um, I haven't evened the terrain out. This is just going to be in the way here, isn't it? And that's our field. Um, we only own up to here. Oh, mind you, there's probably grass on that, um, or chaff, maybe, even on that field there in the way. Um, right down here behind by our tent will probably be good, right by the lake, actually. Um, sorry about this, I just want to try and get it in a decent, decent spot. Quite touchy, isn't it? We'll put it right there, I think. Yep, that'll do, me. Just the one, I think. Um, yeah, we could put two down, but I think I'll just go one for now. That costs $2,000, so... Um, get rid of that bush that's sticking up there. There we go. And um, maybe... Make a little path down to the, is it, not dirt, um, yeah, what is that, is that gravel, try and make it match the path that's already in the game, is it gravel, no, it's not gravel, is it, no, it's not the same, okay, uh, bear with me, <laughs> Quite the OCD. It must be river, river bank. Yeah, it is. Okay, that's yeah, cool. Okay, sweet. So we'll make a little path from the water um, up to our garden, so it looks somewhat proper. So we're not driving through the long grass. Just a rough path, um, maybe. Can we get rid of that bush there and that one. Yep. Clear all that out. Perfect, that'll do me. Right, our garden's done. I'll get that all topped up and sorted, and I'll see you in a bit. Right, we're just going to sort our garden out, what kind of crops we're going to grow. Um, what do we grow? I'm thinking something that's just going to make us nice, quick, easy, passive money. Uh, something just to pop up in the background. Um, once I can get the forks in there, or might buy a couple of liftable bags eventually, I'll use the fertilizer and seed option as well, which will boost our production. But I think we're going to go soybeans. Sugar beets I get a lot out. Um, but I'll get a lot more money for soybeans. Unless I make sugar with sugar beet, but I'm nowhere near production-wise yet. Um, I do, however, have that bakery. I'm <laughs> debating whether I utilize it or not. So we've got our soybeans. I'm going to go and get the trailer and get that all sorted out, put some water in there, try and put some seed and fertilizer, but I don't think it'll let me just put the pellets in there. 
Um, I've got no trailer to transport things unless I chuck it in the spreader and bring it. But anyway, so it's looking good. We've got a garden. I'll go and sort all that out. Um, finish doing the grass as well, hopefully. And um, when I return, hopefully we've got some silage being made. Right, that's all sorted. I bought the tanker in it and um, I've put some more in. We've got about 60 odd thousand litres, I think. Um, I've just put the blanket on, so that's pulled over, the tarp, whatever it is, and um, that'll be fermenting now, so pretty much just mowed this grass field here, which I'm going to plan on trying to plough before the snow freeze, or snow slash freeze hits us, um, and then next year we can put some grass seeds down here and get a better silage production system going, um, that's going to be a money maker, but yeah, so we'll put a grass field all down here, quite a decent field we've got quite a lot of grass actually and if I were to spend the time and get a decent plow um, God, I can have all this field here too next door to the carpentry up to where I've mowed here all across all over, down past those trees as well I think so I'll just follow the outline I've done and that's pretty much where I can put another grass field if I wanted to or I simply you know uh, that's probably the best route to go. I've still got all this grass to mow anyway, so I might get onto that and put a bunker in there. So we've got quite a decent field that we can make. Um, we've got so many options actually. Uh, we've still got trees that we can chop down, although I haven't got any way of loading them just yet. I'd have to walk one by one piece down to the carpentry here, so that's out of the question. Um, well, that's not far, but it's not something I feel like doing. Uh, we've got four and a half, what, five thousand dollars, is it? Yep, we're just under five thousand dollars, so... There's not going to be any contracts coming up, I don't think. Um, there's not going to be... Yeah, there's no contracts coming up, so the only way we're going to make money is from that silage and from whatever comes from our garden. Uh, which I had tried to put fertilizer into I think but um, the seeds and stuff, but that's not working like that um, I even transported the seeds over here. Well, there's our tractor anyway, Zeta 7745. I hadn't explained it earlier But um, yeah, she looks quite nice. Anyway, it's going good. There's our trailer, our liquid trailer Couldn't put the seeds in there um, Just wouldn't let me uh, I unloaded the pallet here, but obviously it's got to be above the the marker um, yeah, see there's no contracts, that's a shame. So, I mean one thing, I've got the open air garden, but I've also got this bakery. Um, you know, I'm not sure if I should utilise it or not. I haven't got anything that I could put in there anyway, to be honest. Um, but we have got options. If we want to utilise that to make some easier money, then... We've got the option to do so, I guess, but uh, that's nowhere near the option right now. Um, yeah, so money making's a bit tough at the moment. I'm really struggling on this series. I'm hoping that after the cold winter that's coming our way, uh, things turn around for us for the better, or I may have to start picking up little treasures like that to help me out along the way. Um, as EA Sports used to say, if it's in the game, it's in the game. But yeah. So, for me, that's it. Until next time, take care, and I'll see you soon.